Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Take three on today's reading. This is the third time I'm going to try and get this message out to you. The first interruption was uh, when I had opened up the three cards already. We had the Magician, then we had the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords. I turned the cards over after I was interrupted. Beneath a Magician, beneath a Magician was the Wheel of Fortune. Beneath the Nine of Cups was the Seven of Pentacles. And beneath the Ten of Swords was the Ace of Cups. And the message that I got from that was, don't give up, even though there could be uh, a disappointment or taking a step back with that Ten of Swords. Remember, it's a restart. Beneath that was the Ace of Cups. But the Seven of Pentacles, beneath the middle position in the now, says keep watering that plant. Keep Keep projecting your wishes out. Keep doing the work. So it is Mercury Retrograde. That Magician is so on point. The first card that opened up. Um, our head is very clouded. That Even that Nine of Cups, Pisces energy, right? Lots of water. There's a, a sense of confusion, not being able to remember. Even though the Magician... The magician is using logic. It is uh, help from spirit, a messenger coming through. Let's see, Archangels, Archangel Michael, what is your guidance? 1st of June of 2021. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support. The June readings are being done now. What's going on on the 1st of June, okay, in 2021? A special hello to... Australia, the land down under, first day of winter for them. What's going on? First of June, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, we have the Eight of Swords, quite similar energies to what I saw before. The Eight of Swords is lots of swords. There's the blockage here, it's your own perception. Some of us are practically at the end right, where there's a new beginning, remember that Ten of Swords turns into the Ace, don't hold yourself back, don't think too much, you're free, you're, you're able to move forward, right, that's what the potential is, okay, let's see what's hidden, we've got Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, we have the Queen of Wands, very powerful, very magnetic, very creative, very passionate, and wow, there's the hanging man. There's the Pisces energy. Okay, so Queen of Wands wants to create. She wants to move towards her desires. Six of Pentacles can speak of Libra energy. Equal giving and receiving. She demands respect. She demands um, equality. Um, she's trying to create something that's going to give her back. Okay, the work she's doing, the power she is... Uh, pushing forward with whatever it is that she's trying to create has got the ability to bear fruit right this is generosity as well now for some of you there's been a lot of sacrifice here and I don't think we're going to move unless there's the reciprocity of that this Queen of Wands Leo Sagittarius Aries has already invested a lot the hanging man is Pisces this could be a clandestine relationship could be that there's been no equal giving and receiving. Someone's all tied up in a situation that they're not clear about to this Queen of Wands, right? They're not totally clear. We've got the moon. She could be a mother. She's uh, coming out of her fears. The moon can speak of home. Uh, strong intuition at this time. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, she's thinking of moving on. Eight of Cups, right? Where there's been deception, we've got the moon in two instances here. So concerning deception, um, lack of clarity, and we've got the Knight of Wands here. 
could be a player, could be someone that's coming from a different area of the world, someone that is also wanting to join to do the work. This could mean a meeting, as you know, the Eight of Cups usually moving towards the future. The Knight of Wands is coming from uh, moving towards the past, so it's got to do with that Mercury retrograde for sure. We've got the Three of Cups here. Three of Cups. Reconciliation. Too many people in the picture here. There's been, it's been fun, there's been celebration, but there's also been deception. Or maybe matters of um, concerning a mother could be in the way, could be the third person. We do have deception, as you can see. Seven of Swords we've got here. There has been deception. Someone's strategizing and planning a move, maybe even moving into separation here. There's that Ten of Swords, everyone. There it is. There it is. Ten of Swords. The darkest before the dawn. There's been an ending here. Quite a few swords. Um, 17. 17 swords. 17 is the star. It's Aquarius. And the star we know is something that's at a distance. The star can speak of social media. Uh, communication through social media. We've got a few cups here. So Piscean energy, but uh, remember that cups speak of our emotions. There's a lot of fears here and matters that are unknown, right? Four of cups, someone not happy in their home. That's probably why they're looking outside of their home. Um, family members could be, um, you know, uh, the third situation here as well. Gossip concerning a home. Someone's worried about people talking on the grapevine. Four of Pentacles, another four. Concerning a home, concerning the family money, right? What's beneath? There's that seven of Pentacles, which is saying keep watering your plant. Even though it looks glim, right? It looks glim. News is coming in, action will be taken. Someone's going to sacrifice, going to sacrifice something that did not make them happy. It's time to move. There's action in Sagittarius um, here, the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. There could be also an immaturity in the Divine Masculine here. Okay, this is a moment of pause. Someone is trying to see things from a different perspective waiting on clarity waiting on action to be taken knight of pentacles very slow and steady movement forward virgo energy someone that's strategizing for their future acting very carefully i want to take a peek here and we've got the six of wands six of wands so getting to a uh, point of success, glory, recognition. Someone's worried about, I feel here, they're worried about their reputation, worried about what people are going to say. Um, if this is a secretive connection, uh, someone's worried about their social standing, I feel here. But uh, the chariot says that they're, we're moving towards victory. Okay, the chariot is someone's put in the driver's seat. Someone is, uh, could be also transiting, literally. What's going on, please, Spirit? First of June, bad health, number four. Bad health, someone's fantasizing about those distant horizons, wanting to put that anchor down at a distant place in a different home. They're imagining this. They're daydreaming of this. They're, as I said, fantasizing, fantasizing. And uh, yeah, they're one step away um, because this is a number nine. Uh, it's nine is the hermit. So they're probably fantasizing, but also doing the work behind the scenes. What you see is not what is happening. You don't see what is really happening here, I feel. And we've got sudden wealth, number 11, striking it lucky. This is uh, 777, the angel numbers, of course. Spirit, 
it's spiritual number seven and courthouse is here again this this card keeps showing up every single time every single time number 23 which equals a five someone's following following um their beliefs remember the hierophant is all about beliefs uh the Hierophant is family as well. There's changes concerning a family and legalities are in the, in the picture as well. Let's see what's going on. We've got the clouds. The clouds are clearing. There's news coming in with the sun, three birds concerning someone's stability. We've got the anchor now. For some of you, the anchor can mean work as well. Okay, as someone hasn't been feeling stable and it could be affecting their psychological state even i mean their mental state also we know that a unhealthy mind leads to an unhealthy body so someone has been through some sort of illness and we've got there's the uh 12 which is the hanging man right the hanging man piscean energy again here we've got more birds here this is um, either excitement or uh, news coming through that's going to uh, I feel I don't know why I feel a sense of butterflies in the stomach others of you again this is tension nervousness stress and anxiety concerning news being known about someone's stability something that they've been trying to keep under wraps here and we've got the transition the birds right the storks wanting to build a nest elsewhere um and remember that of course it's 17 again the star this is transitioning changes are coming through because of news that will come through we've got a pile of cards that have just opened up from the energy oracle seventh chakra archangel uriel the seventh chakra we know is connection to the divine crown chakra that is we've got hostilities we've got the first a chakra the root chakra career money someone's mindset and a sense of belonging wow and we've got the man holding a heart which we had yesterday if i'm not mistaken interesting so we've got the seventh chakra and the first chakra so wow Archangel Michael and Archangel Uriel. Number five, five and eight is 13 and eight is 21 and nine is 30. That is the Empress, right? So there are hostilities. Someone's not believing, not trusting in their intuition. The messages they're receiving from spirit, they're not trusting. They're feeling um, they're not feeling safe and secure. They're not trusting that spirit is guiding them here. That's what I feel. Um, they're not trusting that someone um, is ready to offer their heart. They're not trusting that someone um, holds them very close to their heart. And they're not trusting that they're special to a certain divine masculine. The man holding a heart is ready to sacrifice for love okay this is an offer that's coming through that will give you a sense of security and this is also a very strong spiritual connection what's the karma dharma first of june we've got the sun card this is true love this is clarity this is the ability to create everyone uh, leo and the sun means clarity happiness uh, being able to create taking a risk flirtation new love for some of you this could be a new love for others of you this is not a new love this could be a return of someone from the past someone who maybe has come to their senses wow we've got two cards that opened up from the gods here we've got themis nat natural order and we've got apollo and clarity there is the sun uh the god of the sun is apollo Number 20, this is like help from Archangel Michael. This is going through a crisis, not having been happy. There's been no happiness. There's been no life here. Themis is saying it's natural, happening in natural 
order. Number six and number 20, that's an eight again, which is also Leo, the strength card. Eight is also the house of Scorpio. Okay, Themis, number six, balance. Number two, balance. Okay, the yin and the yang. Look at the colors in the card here. Natural order, that does ring Sagittarian energy. The laws of nature, the laws of life is Sagittarius. Something is being taken away because it was not meant to be. Let's quickly read from the books here. Apollo says clarity. Clarity is coming through. The clarity will bring warmth and healing after a burdensome time here. Okay. 8, 20, sorry, 11, 19, 25. That's again the 7. 7. Uh, here we've got a 4 and a 9 is 13, 24 and 5 is 29, again an 11. 11 is also justice, remember, it's Libra, it's relationships. There's a lot going on in relationships from now and for the next three months, I'm going to say. Very important time. Let's read number 21st, Apollo. Apollo is the son of Zeus and Leto. He is the twin brother of Artemis, which we had a few days ago. Twins, right? Gemini, North Node, this uh, solar eclipse coming on the 10th of June. And carries a silver bow and arrow. There you go. The silver bow and arrow, again, Sagittarius. The god of the sun, illumination, clarity, prophecy, art and music. Apollo had many oracles who would speak his messages to those who traveled to his shrines to hear his wisdom and prophecy. It did also mention the word travel. He is also known to be the leader of the muses and director of their choir. He is a great protector of the people and places he loves. His realm is the real realm of light. All becomes clear in his presence. We've got two cards that signify the sun. And remember that we're going to have a solar eclipse, which is a new moon. Solar means, well, solar means light. It means clarity, means warmth. Expect lots of messages, lots of news to come through concerning um, a healing situation. If you've drawn this card, the light of Apollo is touching you now. All becomes clear in his light. And this is a time for truly seeing what is a time for connecting to your personal truth and removing the dust from your eyes and from the corners of your life. The light of Apollo makes all things shine and this is a time for getting clear and centered. Apollo's light also brings joy and creativity with it and you now have the great creative power available to you, the power to truly live your greatest potential. That's what the Queen of Wands is um, saying to us here. Okay, someone who's got the ability to create. Now, you may have experienced, you may have experienced, uh, sorry, uh, this may relate to the kind of relationships, work or home environment you want for yourself. You may have just experienced a period of confusion or change in your life and this may have left you with a feeling of being up in the air or not quite adjusted to the transitions that have taken place and perhaps not quite sure of where you stand. Remember that Jupiter is in Pisces now. He's bringing the blessings, unconditional love, uh, expansion, growth, a spiritual uh, connection and Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces are bringing the divine. This is like a pot of gold for the next couple of months, I would say. Apollo comes now to bring light and order to the changes that have taken place. This is a good time to write, make plans and set new routines in place. This is a creative time for you. It is the time to take a stand for what it is you want for yourself and your life. The old has been cleared away and the light now shines on where you are today. Stand in the light of clear vision and create the life you want to live. The power is yours. Okay. This is also with help from uh, spirit, obviously. Let's look at number six for a moment. 
we haven't had Themis and Natural Order for a, for a while. Themis is the goddess of natural order, the daughter of Gaia and Uranus. She was known for her wisdom and acted as counsel to Zeus. Themis governs the laws of nature as opposed to the law of man. When she is dishonored, Nemesis, the goddess of retribution, takes revenge. Wow. Themis is the balance of all things, as is nature. All things have a natural order, day, night, harmony, chaos, birth, death. And when we struggle against this natural order, we become severely out of balance. And on that note, I'd like to say also that there's two lots of groups. There's two, two paths here. You're either on your shadow path where you're going through the darkness, being surrounded by fear, or you're on the path of light where everything is magical at this time. It's up to you. It's what you attract, okay, because what you beam from within is what you attract. When you beam the shadow and the darkness and the fear, you will attract the fear. And when you beam light from your soul out to others, only good will come through. Justice is balance and balance comes when there is order. There is the time to get your life in order from your home and personal space being clear to your personal and financial paperwork being organized, your diet clean and healthy and relationships clear and honest. Speaking of paperwork, Gemini retrograde, it's perfect. And not only for paperwork, all the things that are mentioned here. Order is necessary right now and this can take hard work and focus. It is time to look at all the aspects of your life and face them head on. There may be confrontation on both inner and outer levels at the moment and you may need to chase up bills, confront a person or institution or deal with personal issues, habits and beliefs. Justice is not an eye for an eye. Justice is the natural order of the universe. We cannot control other people, nor can we control every event that happens in our lives. And I'm going to add, there shouldn't be control from others concerning our lives either. Speaking of governments and what that entails. There may, there, there may, sorry, there are, wow, I can't even read today. There are many times that we will experience pain and circumstances that will feel unfair, but in time all things find their natural way of finding balance and they do not need to be forced. What you can control is the responsibility that you have to yourself and to do what you believe to be right. If you are clear in your life and honest with yourself, then justice will surely flow. So lovely lovely message as i said it is mercury retrograde doesn't help with reading does it um all right one last card before i go everyone i'd like to take a card from the black moon astrology just wanted to add we've got a new member uh another kitty number three He's tiny, <laughs> a little ginger. I'm going to show you him in a moment. His name is Mega. Mega. Okay, he's tiny and he's a sweetheart. So let's see what's going on. What are the energies, please, Spirit? 1st of June, 2021. And we have Yod and Destiny. And a Yod is the finger of God pointing you to your destined path. This is not an easy configuration in astrology. Okay, it's like, um, as you could see here, we've got a sextile here, which is 60 degrees, and it's pointing over. It's like pointing that bow and arrow to your target. It's not easy because getting to your target is, is not simple. But remember, I'm going to say that the bow and arrow, which is Sagittarius, Sagittarius strikes towards the target. They focus the energy. That's what this yod is. Have a look at it. Okay, so the point is here. So 
there is helpful energies here from spirit, but we need to take the action. Okay, so the finger of God is saying that maybe a little bit more sacrifice is necessary. Number 48, which 48 does equal a 12 again, the Piscean energy. Remember the ruling planet Jupiter of Sagittarius in the sign of Pisces. Don't give up on what you believe. Okay, now any negative belief systems will have been taken away from you with the eclipse that we've just experienced. But if you feel as though your life is on track, you're, you can see the outcome, you can see your goal, you've got a vision and you, you're receiving signs and synchronicities that you're on the correct path, stay on. If everything is chaotic around you, something needs to change, think about that. Okay, I'm just going to show you Mega now, and I will leave you with this. And Mega is here, which in Greek, this means uh, the greatness, the great. Uh, here he is. He's a beautiful male. <laughs> He's absolutely gorgeous. And he's not very comfortable right now, as you can see. Here you go, darling. Don't go to the light. Yeah, so he's about a month old and he's number three. We fell in love with him, especially my daughter, since he's a ginger with blue eyes. His eyes will probably change. And he's blessing our table. There you go. Hello. Oh, I know you're not comfortable, sweetheart. But they want to see you. They want to see you. Yes, my darling. Agapimo. Kuklos, Kuklos, he's gorgeous. Okay, so he's blessed our table now. Mega wants to go to sleep. We'll let him go to sleep now. He's very curious. They tend to go to the light always. And I will leave you with that, everyone. Thank you so much. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Remember that if you're going through... A yod, you're moving towards your destiny. It can be uncomfortable, but uh, spirit, the divine God, is pointing you the way at this time. So you're going to strike it lucky here, but you've got to go through changes, maybe even legal changes as you're transitioning towards the light, as you could see. And yeah, so you're creating something new. All right. Love and light to all of you. Let me grab him before he falls off the table. Talk to you later. Thank you so much, everyone. Ta-da.